On to the next step. Hey man, commentators gotta give the benefit of the doubt. Yeah. <laughs> All right. That assembly DLC Pac-Man main and DLC Pac-Man main. <laughs> and we got strikes. I forget who did uh play before uh Steven. Ness. Ness. Oh, okay. oh yeah, I remember their Ness. I remember their Ness. What a switch. Going from that to probably one of the better Stevens I've seen. Should have mean a lot of things about this character that would it make me think this character would be competitively viable? As I think the character requires a lot of setup. Oh yeah. But once they do set up, is it's very scary. <laughs> the combo game is ridiculous. The keep away is. Well thought tech, out. Tech animation is ambiguous. Also, the recovery is pretty decent if they don't go too low. Though. Like having a glide, you know, the brawl classic in this game where no one else has it anymore is a pretty good feature. Nice, nice. React with the grab there. Yeah, the and also the ledge stolen oh, that um that Steve can do is pretty wild. Gets hit clean, doesn't die. Lucina's strong though. One, one more clean hit. Oh, what an escape! Yeah, yeah, he's just out. And refreshing, refreshing his um, ledge invincibility by standing on the block. Launches him off with the full. Oh, oh wow! Okay. Stretch. Yeah, okay. We see you. We see you. Uh, he's using his uh, brain. That's big brain maneuvers. Like lightly touching with that side B, just to throw off his timing there, just for that up B tech. Oh, your shield! <laughs> I respect that up B actually. Okay, okay. Still safe with the top platform somewhat. Yeah, but... I was on the hunt, and that ooh, that grab, that space thing coming out from low also like. Going deep. The bomb, though! If I remember, that's unblockable. Oh, no. Ow. Cut him on the whiff. Good on stretch to break all these blocks. Oh, no. Oh, making it hard to catch. So, this is like a, a big difference from the Steve play that I saw earlier today. Where I'm seeing uh, use a lot more of these uh, down airs just to keep himself safe. Yeah, a lot more downers, and he's being a lot more proactive in his um, game plan, right? Um, like, there, there's a lot more setups with intention. Oh, yeah. That's one of the best moves in the game. That side B from Steve. Oh, and That's that move too. Wild. That move too. Diamond hands equipped. Okay, diamond hands, and he's off stage refreshing jumps. And you got hit. Mm -hmm. 78%. 70%. Bro, he got one hit and got 78%. Diamond hands, indeed. Diamond hands. Diamond I was hands. looking to take this. Okay, that would have been insane. Oh, that just, yo, that was. Did he use the anvil to cancel that forward smash animation, yeah. too? That was insane. Yeah, that's. Building Minecraft, a uh, takes the game. Yeah, can we jump off ledge like that, especially when you got the diamond hand? Oh. That pickaxe back air is gonna smoke you. Bro. Us keep away there too is also really impressive. As they, as when they got their leads, they, they timed out that angel uh, invincibility by just jumping off the stage and building blocks, but like placing them well to avoid getting hit. It's creating their own platforms off the stage. Yeah. That was insane by yeah, yeah. Just the, just the mix up that. that scared the crap out of me. That that setup right there, like what are you doing here? <laughs> that stress scared stretch also he just said oh okay. like, what do I do? <laughs> you keep doing that if you want, I'm not gonna be there for it. <laughs> also a, a thing I'm noticing from uh, is they're reacting from buildings with grab. Which is really it's really good from what I'm noticing. <laughs> wow, you can't even spike this character. It's insane. Oh, it seems kind of like um, Pac-Man trampoline, but um, <laughs> but um, so, yeah. It's like, what if you can like place Pac-Man Tyrant anywhere you want type thing? That's how the blocks feel like. Oh, nice glide. Oh, we're sharking now. We gotta make a rule. <laughs> oh wow. That's <laughs> As long as Steve has resources, Steve can do that. Steve That's can refresh. Insane. Looking really good, even though they're 
high in percentages. I feel like they're more in advance than Lucina is right now, even though they're on the stage. Wow, in these, okay, so the way that uh is mixing up these recovery angles, um, hell on some ledge, ledge too long though. Yeah. Um, especially, it's a recovery that looks very linear, but it, the way he, he mixes up his um, angles, it doesn't seem that linear anymore. Wow, the grab doesn't go far enough. Oh, okay, that would have been insane for for other land that, but that looked really crafty how they tried to put up. I'll smash. Not gonna kill though. Tries to go for it again, but doesn't scoop. Yeah, stretch wasn't going for it. That's a clean. Go straight up too. Really. Um, a little bit, yeah, a little bit suspect DI, but you know, <laughs> a, little <sus> <laughs> a little bit suspect DI. Little two piece from uh goes back to Crafton. Almost has that diamond. Yeah, and, and Stretch trying to and pull, out, pull out that uh, craft figure there. Instead, got punished himself. Throws him off. That's so scary. See, like Steve throws you off the stage, builds a block, and like, oh god, what is he gonna do to me? Yeah. <laughs> and, and he has the diamond hands. Well, misses again this anti air up smash. He's trying to catch the stretch Ooh. from the sky, but. And I'm not gonna lie, stretch probably could have been. Mm -hmm. anyway, so the bad. nair scoop. Stretch up too. Trying to sneak in the stocks right here. Oh, uh -huh. it's bad spot. Bad spot for stretch. Well, yeah, and, and stretch won't try to take this from the platform. And it's so hard sometimes when um, steep tech rolls, because sometimes you don't know what the hell he's doing. Very weird character animation wise to see what they could do to punish. Oof. Builds up the, uh, the blocks again. I think they still have diamond. I think they, oh no, they got gold. Down smash off the block, too. Yeah, that burns a lot of things. Like, you could probably go for forward smash, go for down smash off of that, uh, off of block. Steve's a really interesting character as. They're able to change a lot of rules about the game where when it comes to positioning. Oh yeah, 100%. They have an insane combo game. <laughs> I get so much off throws. Yeah, right now, Stretch um, fighting for his winner's corner's bracket line. Ooh, catches the jump too. There's no jump on us side. Oh, manages to snap on. <laughs> what a way to use that forward smash. Oh my, yeah, yeah, get out of there. That anvil is um, spooky. Okay, does he have diamond hands? Diamond hands equipped. Oh, One no, good clean hit, hands. though. You're in danger. You're in danger. You're in danger. That's in danger right now. The Nair catches him on the way down. Stretch takes it. Yeah, and I feel like that was the game. That was the game where Stretch finally was able to edge guard and actually ledge trap uh, effectively. I feel like the, game, the first game, uh, Stretch was just swinging and missing a lot of his punishes, but this is the one game where I feel like that was pretty consistent for him. Yeah, playing around the setup, Stretch didn't let anything that Steve did phase him. Also avoiding these anti-airs too from, from us. I was trying to, uh, a lot just to, just to up smash and punish him. Like there. I wonder if we're gonna run this back. I wanna, I wanna see what states are gonna go to now. That was sick. Just, just to avoid getting killed by the anvil, switches up, beats the other way. Yeah. Turn his character around, go to the top platform. Or throw. Where's the stock? Yeah, do the smash attacks off that block. Just to, just to lessen the recovery. And most of it, he's, he's doing that just to lessen the recovery of the of the of the animation of the move. It's pretty smart to do, to do that. Also, more range as well. And we're not small battle for me. It is like that positioning thing I was mentioning before about Steve, where this character is able to make the moves hit in a way it's not normal that everyone else can do. Yeah, like. Getting forward smash in the air isn't a thing. No, oh, no. So he has like different ways to land forward smash. It would be like on the ground, on block, on platform, 
on, on block on platform. It's a lot of things to consider when playing this character. Yeah. Oh wow, and almost got whipped punch for a smash. Yeah, yeah. Uh, right now it looks like he's 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 really comfortable. Right now neutral. Um, wow, that went through everything. <laughs> how did I say that? Uh, just <laughs> marching through it. Ooh, smacks him right out. Yeah, and it looks like yeah, stretch really it looks like he's getting a read on that recovery. Now. Oh, that would have been a sick stock. You saw what I tried to do there to take that stock. He he dropped the box and the anvil and and the. And the dirt clump just to, just to mix some stretch up there, but stretch was ready. Stretch is not falling for any of these uh, anvil setups, but. Um, fell for that card setup. Yeah. <laughs> That's a very fast move to try to avoid when you're in the cut. Mm -hmm. Regrab? Nice stall. Nice stall here from. from uh... Yeah, the thing is, even if he regrabs, he would have his um, Legend Visibility refresh because he's like landing on a platform. He's standing on a platform. Yeah, on a pseudo platform too. Technically, has his jump back too. Wow. Yeah. Yeah, actually landed on his block on the block himself and stuff, dude. Stretch not afraid to go down there to hit him. Trying to find a way in, stretch, playing around the setups, still getting yeah. hit by this cart twice. Yeah, and, and that's really the fear for people when they're trying to do jump-ins against Steve. It's really the cart. Because what happens with the cart is the cart sends you so far away sometimes, and then sometimes it double-hits, and then sometimes it grabs you like that. Oh, and and that's really the fear with the fork of Steve sometimes. Oh, wow. It just chooses not to recover. The, part, the jump was probably gone as well. As yeah. That blows box is definitely going to stop. Oh, yeah. You're getting it right. Oh, misses. Oh. Does it hit the top platform? I mean, the side platform. And, and stretch can um, continue this edge card. There's a really good stall from uh here. Only character in the game that can just refresh their invincibility like that. It's crazy. Insane. Was that a roll? -in? Did I just catch you rolling in? Oh, nice. Rolls at the right time to avoid the shield break. Yeah. How do you? Yeah, and, and Stretch just trying to walk him down at this point, but Uh is not having it. <laughs> uh is not having it. It's just like, you will not walk me down. I will not let you. Yeah, Uh is playing Minecraft right now. Leave him alone. <laughs> He's in his own server. <laughs> nice forward, uh, forward aerial. Dash attack up. Dash attack up forward. Something like that. Something Gets the kill either way. Okay, this one, this one. <laughs> Last chance moment here from Stretch here. They're down. They got three minutes left. Yeah, One. and uh has the uh, the diamond hands right now, so uh, Stretch needs to watch out. So hard to hit, Steve. Oh, almost taking the stock off the the cart. The TNT. Yeah, we got got. We got got. We got got. Okay, kill kill Hanover Rare noise. Hanover Rare. Yeah, you got you got to put like the wildly coyote, coyote noises there because that was uh that was quite the setup. He caught the Roadrunner. So I was I was thinking like he could probably not detonate it. I'm th I'm trying to think how did it how did it blow up like that? Did he detonate it? Yeah no yeah. So what happens is that um, Steve puts down a TNT and then yeah. can put down a pressure plate. So you see the pressure plate right next to it. He triggered the pressure plate and it explodes. Oh. Yeah. Is that is that when you input down B as well? Yeah. So okay. So what happens is uh, he could also. <laughs> you see. Um, <laughs> he could also put down the TNT. And then put down like a trail to the pressure plate, right? So the pressure, so you can put the TNT at the ledge, and the pressure plate's like you know, a couple of character lengths away. Damn. Yeah, and that's what happened before. And the thing about that um, the TNT setup is, if they both get hit by the TNT, Steve takes less knockback. That's another. <laughs> thing. That's true. Damn, you smart. Oh. Yeah, yeah, uh, it's like, you know, something. That was a setup. You, you need a big brain to play Minecraft Steve, and uh, definitely has it. <laughs>